Hello and welcome to episode 13 of our AGS Success video blog, bringing the science of learning to you at home. This week we're going to be talking about self-quizzing. Now in previous videos we've talked about the importance of retrieval practice and how actually the act of retrieving information actually helps to strengthen the memory itself. And that's really important for students to, to understand because it's not just about more testing, it's about actually every time we retrieve that information it makes our memory stronger. And in this video we're going to look at how students can do that at home because we've also found that um, restudying information isn't um, an effective way of, of learning information over the long term because it creates that false sense of fluency that we've described previously where you are familiar with information and you, you recognize it and then you mistake that for learning and actually deep understanding. That can be quite dangerous. So it's important that we actually do something with that information and we retrieve it to make our memory far stronger over the longer term. So John, can you talk about how students uh, at home and how parents can get involved and how they can make sure that, um, that they can do that self-quizzing to actually make those lasting um, you know, memories? Yeah, I mean, self-quizzing really is quite basic mm -hmm. um, and it's almost how basic it is which, which puts people off. Obviously, we've got um, websites that we recommend mm -hmm. for the students to use and we do have certain techniques that we use. But realistically, self-quizzing is the easiest thing that you can do. Um, and it doesn't need to be any more complex than that, yeah. it still works. And basically the premise is you take some information that needs to be learned mm -hmm. and you read it and then you try and reproduce it. Perfect. Now kind of making that a little bit more structured, if you think about the homework that we recently sent home yeah. through our students for, uh, for Key Stage 3, Year mm -hmm. 7, 8 and 9, um, they've got all of the information they need to learn on a page. Uh -huh. What they can do is get themselves a self-quizzing book or a folder or a file yeah. and read the information, turn it over, and then write down anything that they can remember. Once they've done that, they can then recheck back at the information, and maybe in a different colour if they want, yeah. or just next to it, they can correct the bits that they missed out. And that kind of repeated retrieval, read, cover, right? In fact, we call it self-quizzing. Lots of people at home might know it as kind of a, a look, cover, write, and check method yeah, yeah. that we all know was super successful for when we were learning our spellings and things, yeah, and, yeah, and students are ah, quite often still doing at primary school. Yeah. And actually here we're just talking about learning kind of more extended bits of information mm -hmm. using a very similar technique. And for maybe novice learners who are just learning something for the first time, should they cover and, and, and try and write out the whole document or, or is there a better way to do that in terms of what you're doing chunks at a time? Definitely. Smaller chunks are the better, to yeah. be honest. And we just talked there about learning spellings where you just do one word mm -hmm. at a time and then kind of build towards being able to remember them all in one go. Yeah. Now, the way we've designed and will continue to design and tweak our um, the way we send our information home, mm -hmm. it's actually in blocks and sections. Yeah. So what you might like to do is actually just start with one keyword and a definition yeah. and just learn that. Or you might look at one particular section and again, kind of look turn over or cover mm -hmm. and like I say a self-quizzing book or a file is really good yeah. because then it, if you just think it in your head and you don't say it out loud or you don't commit it to paper you talked about a false sense of fluency yeah. and that can be created again where you think you're getting it right or you go oh yeah I did know that really yeah. but actually having to write it down holds you to account that you have definitely remembered it. Perfect right we always finish the video with uh, two tips one for students one for parents so students to start with um, you know, what's one takeaway thing from here that they can really do to make it uh, either easier or, or to build their confidence with this? Yeah, I think confidence is exactly the right word because I think students need to give themselves a bit of a break, to be honest. Yep. They're often too hard on themselves and I think we've given them kind of a sheet of paper with this information to be learned. It's not realistic that they're going to read it, cover it over and recreate it in one go. Yep. Retrieval is all about repetition and yep. actually repetition, as we've talked about plenty of times, over time. Yep. So it may be that the first week you try this on the Wednesday night when you've got your half an hour set aside for geography, you might do some self-quizzing and you might just get some of the bits on the sheet uh -huh. committed to memory. The next time you come around, you will be better at it yeah. and because you're retrieving again, you're strengthening that memory. So yeah, give yourself a bit of a break. Accept that memory development and long-term learning does take time. So don't be too hard on yourself. Don't beat yourself up if yeah. you don't get it all straight away keep at it. So it's going to be hard initially, but it's going to get easier and it's definitely beneficial. Absolutely. Okay, for parents, how can they support their child at home? Um, you know, what can they do? What can they get involved with? What, you know, what can they provide to make this work? Yeah, similar to things that we've mentioned before, um, it's about facilitating that yeah. learning. 
anybody in life hard work you need that little bit of a nudge or a motivation to get started things parents can do share the information so the information's gone home in the hands of students for the majority of our subjects yeah. it's also shared through our website and yeah. the parents can get in touch if they can't access that or uh, or something hasn't been uploaded for a particular subject and they can let us know that um, so that you can download that information yourself, share it with the students. You could also actually get involved and do some self-quizzing as well. So yeah, yeah. you're kind of learning that information. Mm -hmm. And things like providing a folder yeah. or providing a self-quizzing book. Yeah. And of course, at the end, doing a little bit of quizzing just to check. Because it this method is brilliant if you use it properly. Yeah. But if all you're doing is copying from the sheet to the book, Absolutely. you're spending loads of time yeah, yeah. without actually any value at all. Perfect. And one thing we, we both want to stress here is that this is not just about passing GCSE exams. This is about real learning, and this starts from all the way really through, from primary school upwards, but certainly from here, from year seven upwards. So this is something that everyone should be getting involved in at home, right from year seven all the way to, to year 11. And if that's been embedded over time, when students get to year 11, it's far easier rather than having to start at year 11. So it's, a real, it's about to, uh, developing that study habit from the first minute you enter the building here all the way through to when you leave the building. Hope that's been useful, useful for you and uh, like all of our videos, you can access them all uh, on, our, on our social media channels and on YouTube um, and if you've got any comments uh, and you've been using them, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks.